Okay, today I am going to teach you how to display relational tables as a plugin with DataBridge. We're going to use Framework Builder's plugin feature um, that's inside of DataBridge. On a database driven page, we build from the DataBridge wizard. So in this example, what we're going to do is add order contents to an order details page. So normally the order details page shows like the order number and the billing information and that sort of thing. And then order contents is usually a page deeper than that in your site that shows the, um, the quantity of the items purchased. We're going to make that a plugin and include it on the order details page so that your user will have one less click through. So once you get this concept down, um, you're going to see that you could really use this in all different scenarios. We're using it to display order contents on order details, but really you could display you know, uh, any sort of information from one database table onto another page that has information coming from another database table with this same plugin concept. There are a few things you'll need to do to get started. One is that you need to be running a Dreamweaver CS3 or later. You need to have DataBridge installed and activated. You need to have a dynamic site defined. Make sure um, when you set up your site, when you add your servers, that you go into the advanced mode for setting your server model. You also need to have a database connection. I'm going to make that right now. In the databases window, you can click the plus button and click my SQL connection and set up your connection here. Type in your server, your username and password, select your database, and then make sure to test your connection. My connection was successful. I can click OK. And you can see over in this window, we now have a database connection. There's one other thing you'll need before you get started, and that's a preset that we created for you to use inside of DataBridge. You can download that from the complimentary written tutorial that goes with this video tutorial, and I will post a link to that in the YouTube video description. Once you've downloaded that preset, you can get started. Um, we're going to import that preset into Dreamweaver. So in Dreamweaver, click on the Web Assist menu and click on Preset Manager. From the Product menu, we're going to select DataBridge Preset. And then we're going to click the Import button. Go ahead and browse to where you saved that file. Click on the zip file. That's what we need to import and click Open. And you can see now it's been added to my presets. You can click the Done button. The next thing we're going to do is set up our orders, search results, and details pages. These will allow somebody to search the orders, show a list of results uh, based on the criteria they searched on, and then uh, drill down into the details of an order, which is usually an order number, um, the person that ordered it, that sort of information. First, make sure you have a page open in your site, any page, and then go ahead and click on Web Assist database, data assist pages. It's telling me that no tables are found in my database. That's because I'm using an empty database. If you are uh, using your existing database, you wouldn't see this message. Click OK. Under application type, we're going to pick orders. This is a preset that comes stock with DataBridge. And because I don't have an orders table already in my database, it checks the box for me. Um, this is the best option to go with since this will create all of the necessary columns. Um, you'll need to create the orders pages. So if you are not using an existing orders database, make sure this is checked. Um, I'm going to skip over making these pages pretty, uh, doing the design presets, so that we can just uh, focus on functionality for this video. And then you can see that my correct um, database connection was selected and we're going to create an orders table. I do not need to do anything on the other pages of this wizard, so I'm going to click Finish. And I will not save this as a preset since this is the stock preset we're using. So now you can see that my search results and detail pages were created. The next thing I want to do is create 
the page that shows the content of the orders and we're going to use the preset we imported to do that. That's a new page, so we're going to go back up to the menu in Dreamweaver, click on Web Assist, Database, Data Assist Pages. And this time we're going to select the preset that we imported. Order details. This is the contents of the person's order, which uh, will put data in another table. Um, and so you want to make sure you have this box checked once again that we're going to create an order details table in our database. We won't focus on design once again. And uh, our database connection is correct. It's named our table order details. Now, if you're using your own relational tables, there's, only, there's one extra step you'll need to do. If you've taken the steps that I've taken um, to do the database tables um, created from DataBridge, you don't need to do this. Um, but say you are using your own relational tables, you'll want to go over to the Manage Pages tab. You'll make sure you're, you've selected the results page and we're going to select the edit button to make changes. Under filters and sorting, click define. And these are the criteria that you're going to want to set up. Like I said, if you're taking the steps I'm taking, the filtering is already set up for you and you can leave out this step. But I did want to show this interface for anyone using their own relational tables. Your filter needs to be set for the detail order ID. Again, this is the child table. I'm showing the contents. You'll filter as numeric equal to the URL parameter, which is order ID, which is the unique ID for the parent table. We can click finish. Okay. And we are all done creating this page to show the contents of the order. This was, again, the default preset, so I don't need to save it. I'm going to click OK. And you can see that a new page was created called order details underscore results.php. This is our actual plugin. This is what we are going to plug into another page. So this, again, shows the contents of a specific order. We'll go ahead and close this file. And we're going to go over to our order detail page. The order detail page, all of the content is within a form. We need to make sure we are outside of that form because you can't put a form in another form. So for the sake of making it easy, I'm just going to go to the bottom of the page. Now to plug in the plugin page, the contents, I'm going to go up to the Web Assist menu, select Framework Builder, Plugin, Insert Plugin. The trigger should be Always because we always want to display this information. The plugin source is going to be the page we created with the, the content of the orders. Order details underscore results.php. We'll choose this and click OK. And now you can see down here an area was added that has a table with the contents. Mostly you'll see a whole lot of PHP tags. That's perfectly normal. This is dynamic data that we'll be displaying. Go ahead and save your page. The next thing you'll probably want to do is test that your order pages work. Remember, it's only going to show data on those pages if there's actually data in your database. So if you're already using existing tables in your database, then you probably have some order data there already. Um, of course, if you're doing this uh, just to run through the demo and you want to um, go over to phpMyAdmin or whatever you use to manage your database, um, you can go put in some fake data just for the sake of testing it, whatever works for you. If I go over to phpMyAdmin and I select my orders table and I click browse, you can see that I have a couple of orders in my database. I can click on the order details, which is the contents of the order, and click browse. And you can see that order ID 1 from my orders table is connected to this table. So you can see that a baseball hat should show up for 
order number one. We can now open the order search page we created in the browser. We can search on order number one. You can see this pulled up, that order number one that was in my database. And when we go to the order details page, here is the initial order details that I'm DataBridge normally creates with this page. And then this is the plugin that um, we added to the order details page showing the content. Here's the baseball hat that I had for order number one in my relationals table in my database. Now, of course, uh, this page could use some love. It's, it's not too attractive right now, but using the unstyled preset is actually a good way to go if you already have um, your site set up and all the CSS defined, and that way you don't have to restyle these pages. Or, of course, you can use our handy presets to make these pages a lot uh, prettier out of the gate uh, when you're creating them in DataBridge. Now, these pages are typically used to build out, say, like an admin back in, where an admin needs to search and find orders or update orders. You may also want to use these uh, on the front end, however, like if you're creating a My Account section and you want to show the person um, their, their orders. There are a couple things you could do to make this a little more secure for the front end so that um, one person can tack the URL and see somebody else's order. Let me walk you through those steps. So come back to Dreamweaver, open your order detail page, orders underscore detail dot php, and then go, make sure you're in code view or split view, and you're going to want to find the section of code that manages um, the include, the, the fact that we plugged in order details results. So it should say something along the lines of WA include, and then it should have the file name that you plugged in. Um, and this is above the doc type. So right above the if statement, we're going to put in dollar sign get, and then in single quotes and brackets, order ID, and then we'll make that equal to, and we can drag the binding over if you go over to your bindings floater and expand record set, which is WADA orders, which is what DataBridge uh, put on your page, then you select order ID and you're going to drag that over after the equal sign we just typed. And then add a semicolon to complete this statement here and save your page. So what this does is make sure the plugin only displays if the order ID for the plugin, the contents, is the same as the order ID for the, for the page itself, the order details. Now that the plugin has some security added, we may also want to add to the page, um, not only do the order IDs have to match, but I am only the person whose user this order belongs to can see this page. Again, this is a front end example. You wouldn't want to do this on an admin back end. So go over to your record set in the bindings window and double click on it. And again, this should be WADA orders and you should be in advanced mode in this interface, not simple. And we'll add and order user ID equals, and we're gonna add a variable, we'll call it user ID, all in lowercase. So then under the variables, we need to add this user ID variable. We call it user ID. You want to keep the type integer. The default value will be negative one. And the runtime value, it'll be dollar sign underscore session in all caps. And then in brackets and single quotes, we'll put user ID. Close your single quote and your bracket and click OK. And click OK again. So next you may want to lock down the plugin so the plugin can't ever be viewed on its own. I'm going to want to take 
this piece of code that defines the include from the dollar sign through to the last digit and copy that. Go ahead and paste it into Notepad or something so we can use it. Go back to Dreamweaver and open the plugin page now, order details underscore results. Go to the very top in code view and add an opening PHP tag. And then add if parenthesis is not the exclamation mark is set space another parenthesis and then go over to notepad and copy what we pasted there and paste it here close your parentheses both of them space and then put die open and close parentheses and a semicolon and then you're going to close your PHP tag and save. Now you've completed all of the steps for building out order search results details, building a plugin that has the order contents, plugging the contents into the order details page, and then if you're using it for the front end, adding some security. This concept, like I said, could be used for any sort of nested or tiered data you want to pull from different tables in your database. So DataBridge essentially builds pages um, based on one table at a time. When you want to display relational tables like this, um, the plugin concept works really well with what DataBridge builds. So you could build, um, say, like a forum all the threads are in one database table, all the posts are in another, but they're linked together. Um, you could use the plugin concept for something like that. Um, you can come up with tons of ideas of how you could use this, but uh, try, try out these steps, get used to them, and then you can start using this concept over and over. Hope this was helpful today, and as always, if you need technical support or any more information from us, please visit us at www.webassist.com.